All right, kindergartners, to get started today, you're going to need Lesson 12 template. It looks like this. And you're going to need a dry erase marker. All right. So we're going to go ahead and listen, and I want you to just listen at first, and then we're going to go ahead and move forward. So we're going to have a little bit, it's kind of like a story, like a word problem, and we're going to try and figure it out, okay? So my word problem says, Michael has nine blocks. So the first thing that I want you to do is we're going to write nine all together because that's how many we know he has he has nine blocks okay the next part says some are large and some are small so i want you to decide how many do you think are large how many do you think okay you could say whatever number we're going to go ahead and say seven right now seven are large okay so i'm going to make a picture Okay, on my board of his seven large blocks, okay? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those are his seven large blocks. Now, I want to know how many are small, okay? So if we have nine blocks all together, and he has seven that are large. We need to know how many more from seven do we need to make nine. Now, you might say you know the partners of nine. You know the partners of nine are seven and two. So we need two small blocks, okay? You could use this also to draw your blocks. We have seven... large blocks. And if we know that there's nine all together, that only leaves me two more spots to put his small blocks, right? So you could use this template to also help you, okay? So let's go ahead and make our number sentence, okay? We know that all together he has nine blocks, okay? Seven are large, we're going to say. We drew our picture to go along. So we know the other part of seven is two to make nine. So what symbol are we going to put if we know it's? we're going to put another part? We're going to use a plus sign. And we're going to put our other part, which is two. All right? So we had... Seven large blocks and two small blocks. Now, you could say maybe you decided not seven large blocks. Maybe when you were listening to my story, you decided there were only five large blocks. Okay. Well, we know that this is to nine. So then we're going to fill all of these up with small blocks. How many small blocks did we make? Four. We had four small blocks. So five large blocks and four small blocks makes nine blocks all together. So this template can also help us when we are talking about um, having a part, but maybe we don't have both parts. We only have one part, but we know how many all together. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and erase and move on to our next problem. All right, kindergartners, we're going to do another one. I want you to listen to my story. Are you ready? Susie has a plate of nine cookies. Some are vanilla and some are chocolate. How many of each kind did she have? Do we know how many cookies of each kind she has? No. This is kind of like our last one. There are lots of different ways we could look at it. So we're going to decide... Let's say there are nine chocolates, okay? So we have, or nine chocolates. There are eight chocolates. We'll do eight chocolates, okay? So we're going to go ahead and make eight chocolates. I'm going to go ahead and draw eight cookies, and then I'm going to make them filled in so I know that they're chocolate. Because chocolate is a dark color. 
There we go. So how many did we make dark? We made eight. Now, do we know how many altogether she had? Yeah, we knew there was nine altogether. So we could put nine altogether. She has eight chocolate and we're going to use our plus sign because we have some vanillas, but we just don't know how many vanillas, okay? Well, if we know that she has eight and this is going to be nine, we know that there's going to be how many vanillas? One vanilla because to get to nine, this is our ninth block, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's only one space that we have to fill in, so there's only one vanilla cookie, all right? So nine cookies all together, eight are chocolate, and one is vanilla. All right, you guys are being great addition sentence detectives. We're going to try another one, so go ahead and erase. All right, kindergartners, we're going to do another one. Here we go. Jamal had a basket of 10 blocks. Some were white and some were gray. I want you, he has 10 blocks. So we have 10 squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You're going to make some of the blocks white and some of them gray. Now, my shire doesn't have a gray marker, but what I could do is I could leave some of them white and then my gray ones I could color in a little bit like this, okay? So go ahead and do that, and we're going to see if we can come up with a number sentence, okay? So we know there's 10 all together, so I'm going to write 10 all together up here so I know. Go ahead and see if you can make your number sentence. So kindergartners, maybe you left five white and you had five grays. That would make 10 altogether. Five whites and five grays made 10. Or you could have said that you had a whole bunch of different ones we could do. You could say you had two whites and the rest were colored in. Ms. Sherry is going to go ahead and do hers like this. We had two white blocks and... I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight gray blocks. Two white blocks and eight gray blocks had makes 10 blocks. So we could say 10 blocks was how many we had. Two were white and eight were gray. You could have a whole bunch, okay? You could have two whites and eight grays. You could have eight whites and two grays. You could have five whites and five grays. You could have three, three whites and seven grays. You could have seven whites and three grays. You could have, uh, let's see, oh, you could have four whites and six grays. You could have six whites and four grays. You could even have one white and nine grays or nine whites and one gray. I think I got all of my, yeah. So those are all the possibilities that you could have of your blocks. All right, kindergartners, we're going to go ahead and get started on our worksheets. You can go ahead and erase. And we're working on problem set 32. It looks like this. All right. You're going to need your pencil and I think your crayons. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Our first problem says, 
Cecilia had nine bows. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine bows all together. Some have polka dots and some have stripes. So let's go ahead. You can give some of them polka dots and some of them stripes, but we cannot leave any plain. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give three of them polka dots. And I'm going to give the rest of them stripes. All right. So now we have to make our number sentence go with our picture. If you did it different than Ms. Schneider's, you're going to go ahead and fill out your number sentence. Ms. Schneider here has three polka dots. I'm going to write three, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six stripes. So six and three make nine. All right, I'm going to let you go ahead and do the next one. It says Keegan has 10 train cars. So the first thing that I would do is I would draw 10 train cars. And Ms. Schneider's not very good at drawing train cars, so I'm going to just go ahead and draw rectangles. We need 10 of them. It says some of the train cars are black and some of them are green. Now, does it say all of them are black? Nope. Does it say all of them are green? Nope. So what I need you to do is I need you to make sure all of these are colored and they either need to be black or green. Go ahead and color yours, and then you're going to make your number sentence so that it matches, so that we know how many are black and how many are green to make 10. When you're done, you can flip to the back, and we're going to do heart stickers. We're going to be using yellow and green, okay? So they want you to color some of them yellow and some of them green and fill out your number sentence. And then they want you to do another one over here with yellow and green, but it has to be different than this one. So if in this one, maybe you made two yellow and you made the rest green. Well, in this one, you can make maybe four yellow and the rest green, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing down here with robots. It says Danny has 10 robots. Some are red and some are gray. You're gonna go ahead and color some of the robots red and some of them great, and then write your number sentence, and then you're gonna do it again, but you're gonna use different numbers, okay? All right, kindergartners, I hope you have enjoyed doing this worksheet, and we can't wait to see it.